Hey guys, today we're going to learn about tube feet. Have you ever wondered how sea stars move? Or maybe how they are able to hang on so tight to rocks in the sides of tanks? Within the phylum echinoderms, creatures like sea stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers use tube feet for locomotion, holding on to hard substrates and even in opening shells of prey. Here, on the inside of the sea star, you can see the internal anatomy. Echinoderms operate on a water vascular system, meaning water controls their movements. Water is pumped through this hole at the top, called the madreporite, then goes through the stone canal surrounding the stomach, and then it is distributed through lateral canals in each of the arms. The two feet line the bottom or oral side of the animal. This is where the lateral canal in blue connects to the two feet on the outside. Look closely at the bottom of this bat star and you can see all the tiny tube feet pushed against the tank. It uses them to hang on and move around. Here it attaches to an instructor's hand. Seeing these tube feet up close and personal, now you know how they work. Next time you spot one of these creatures while tide pooling or at your local aquarium, think about all the hundreds of tube feet being used to stay put. 